The mountain's getting so big we can see it in the dark. Look at the rate the gold disc funnels off the top. The game is running so slow now no matter what I do that it's almost unplayable. We can still do better. I think I want both a bigger and cleaner pile of gold. What might be the biggest challenge today is what to do with this. While I could pick up these pieces individually one by one and put them into the melting pot, that would be a very long and tedious procedure and I don't want to do that. So instead, I've come up with a very bad idea in my brain, so we're going to get started on that right away. Not even sure if this is going to work, but I need to go and buy some more parts. Like these sloped roofing pieces, which by itself is proven to be a very hard task because every time I touch one of these, it flies into the sky to join the rest of my things. I've even had to implement a rule for myself that depending on how far they go, I might not just go get them. Like that one, that's too far, it's not worth my time. I'll just buy Buy a new one because it's easier. Okay, I guess the truck is full. Now the reason I needed all of these is so that I could put them something like that if you see what I'm getting at. Maybe this will help make a little more sense. And this should further help. You see what I'm getting at now? Now we're long overdue to incorporate some of these things. So once this little pile of stuff runs through these, it shouldn't be an assorted pile anymore. They should all go into individual items. Then we just need a few more little things to collect the items in. Alright, this should be enough to get us up and going once I put it all together. The pipes are all connected now. Just gotta fix up a few things on this end and we're able to crash the game. I've just realized I forgot to buy my favorite parts ever, the funnels. Soon. Just need to add the funnels and some backstop to those and we'll fire it up. So the sorters are gonna work something like this. The stuff will spit out, hit the windows, fall into the appropriate bucket, I think. The only thing I'm really confident in is the game is not going to like this very much. So for starters, let's fire everything up and then we'll drop all the materials down into their hole. I do kind of wish there was a better way to do this part, but uh, let's see what happens if I drop a single piece of gold on there for now. Is it going to spit out into where it's supposed to go? So far, so good. Now to just kind of carefully start removing some of the boxes in the hopes that all the gold falls down. So far, it's a little bit more jammed up than I expected. When I remove a box, I can hear some of the gold from higher up. Oh, that stuff actually went somewhere. Uh, drop down just a little bit. So I'm not really sure what it's going to take to get the rest loose. Yeah, so far that's working great. Well, at least for now we are getting a little bit of stuff to fall in. And little bit is a relative term here. And it's jamming up. Everything I do jams up. Maybe I should plug all these. Well, it's maybe not the giant flood that I was expecting, but little bit by little bit, we'll get the gold and other minerals to where they're supposed to be going. There was still a little bit of dirt left under the boxes, so that's maybe holding some of them up as well. But let's see what happens if we take a few bites out of some of the dirt. Well, everything's still floating up there, so we'll find another way to knock it down eventually. Now, I expected this to be a bit of an imperfect plan, but for it to kind of fail entirely like this, this is way less dramatic than I wanted. Maybe if I just start, oh, poking the roof. Yeah, there we go. We'll get some stuff to drop in this way. The game's not gonna love this very much but uh yeah it's getting the job done it's probably already super jammed up though huh oh hello yeah getting a bit of a jam up there so might have to slow down the process just a bit oh there's even gold getting into that one what even is that one and i just realized things like the gems they don't need to go in a pot because they won't stack anyway so i might as well just let them i don't know fall into a pile here for now i think the first one is just supposed to be dirt anyways because power stones gems iron gold so let's just change that one to gold we'll have two pots of gold that won't hurt i knew this process would take a while but i didn't really expect it to be this long i'm just gonna see if i can bring mostly this whole thing down because it's gonna be faster this way if i can just kind of halfway sort it from the top and give it some assistance uh, it's all kind of piling up here. I expected those ramps to work better. Still seem to be getting plenty of materials, mostly to where they're supposed to be going. We're starting to get iron here now somehow. So anytime I let any capacity through these, they jam up right away. But I've also got another idea that help uh, might help expedite this. I'm going to stand right here, exit the game, then load back in to see if everything drops out of orbit. And yeah, I'm a little nervous as to what this might do. The game... not super okay it's fine it didn't want to drop all that stuff anyway well i've kind of got a new plan as to how i'm gonna deal with all this for one i'm gonna smelt what little gold i have so far in the pots and have my truck run out of water in the middle of nowhere so i'll just buy another truck then i'm gonna buy everything i need to do a little smelting this is a new bug now i'm falling through the ground all of that's gonna turn into one emerald necklace it's probably worth a few bucks not actually sure how much gold ended up in this thing prices are down today but see if i care 18,978 that's fine by me i did all that organizing and sorting and everything there's still a giant pile of gold here and yes i am complaining about a giant pile of gold but really only because it's not quite big enough we're gonna keep going basically with what we had but i'm gonna only spit out things that aren't gold along this stretch so non-gold stuff will fall into their pots gold will spit out the end somewhere i just need to figure out how to get the gold from here to here this isn't going to be the prettiest thing i've ever done but i mean 
Look at the world around me. What do you expect? I think I can do this using my patented box technology. So everything's still going to be processed at the same spot because that's working nicely. The gold's going to spit out here, drop down, shoot over here, drop down onto the conveyor belt, which is going to feed right to here. Take it this way into these guys, at which point we'll build another gold deposit thing way over there. And it's back to the shop to buy even more conveyors. Well, uh, that's a new one. It would also be great if I could manage to park the truck a little bit closer, but it really doesn't like to drive over this terrain. Every time I try and get it as far in as possible, but it usually gets to about where it is now. How far do you think gold is going to fly off the end of a conveyor belt? Well, I assume that's going to be about high enough to get the gold a pretty good distance. I've got everything all plumbed in, so I'm going to fire this up. I've got a few pieces of gold on the conveyor belt. I want to see kind of exactly where they land. Then I can build a landing zone. Then we're ready to go again. So all we got to do now is turn it on here. And nothing's happening. All right, the conveyor belt switched off. I mean, the grinder's running up there and there's no other valves. It should all be flowing. Maybe the game is just straight up refusing. It's like, nope, I don't want to do this. And it should have tons of power. Am I being stupid? Am I overlooking something? Wait, I think it might be working now. I hear something more working. Yep, there they go. The conveyor's working, so everything should be moving along. The gold landed there just to be sure let's try a few more pieces of random stuff some kind of falling in there anyway but that should work pretty nicely overall there goes a the gold making its way to the top and there we go it's raining gold again perfect now we just got to add some boxes here and uh, reset up everything given that everything should be falling pretty well straight down from here i'm not going to build the walls because the gold really should group itself up pretty nicely so i guess we'll go down and take a look at what those drills are doing because there's not a lot of gold coming up in fact, there's none at all, and that's kind of worrying to me. I don't know why they've stopped. And if I can feed this belt at a pretty consistent rate, the sorters can actually handle that pretty well. It's only when they get clumped up really close together, so hopefully as the drills work, we don't get anything too close together. So like, yeah, it works just fine at this speed. Well, at least one of the drills is broken, and they're probably just not turned on is actually probably the problem. Seems as though only this one wants to turn on right now. I'll check in on these again in a minute and feed them more dirt. I just want to make sure this actually spits something out before I leave. Yep, there goes my little itty bitty pieces of dirt. Now we'll follow them along the journey to make sure the whole thing is going to work okay. They're kind of hard to see, but there are lots of little itty bitty pieces of dirt. So as long as gold comes out onto this conveyor belt, the whole thing should be a success. I can hear it working. Yep, there we go. Everything's landing down right in a conveyor belt where it should. And not jamming up yet, though the pieces are landing a little bit close together for my liking. But as long as you don't throw too much at it at one time, we'll be just fine. I can transfer a ton of gold over this way, but I still want to be feeding it lots of new gold too, because I want a big pile of pure gold. Something else I want to try this morning. We're going to put five of these into here, and then put that into here, which melts down into some kind of blue goo, which turns into a bar. A bar of what I'm assuming is incredible power. So we're going to put that in front of the drills. As long as it fits. Yep, it's in there. Okay, so now the drills are very happy. Probably working overtime. I'll smelt a few more of those bars, but I also kind of want to see the power gauge that's going on here. Yeah, they're all at not quite full power, but it's close. There's my missing crystal from yesteryear. Adding just that little crystal has these at full capacity. So I'm going to leave them for now, but I'm going to fix the drills so they're actually doing something. They don't seem to be very happy drills today. Even when I replaced the dirt, the light only came on for a second and then it goes off again. I don't know if they're eating the dirt too fast or what the problem is. Yeah, it looks like they're probably just eating the dirt too fast. Definitely kind of fun from up here because I can hear all my gold processing and then I can watch all this stuff spit out, get organized there, and then fly into what's going to be a gold mountain eventually. I see the iron pot is still having trouble itself but I think with a few little adjustments we'll have it back in working order or maybe not the conveyor is looking a little slow so let's make another one of these bars not sure if these bars give extra power or does last extra long or both but I'm gonna keep throwing them in anyway because I assume they exist for a reason things seem to be working at a pretty good pace now gold mountain still a bit of a work in progress but any good project is look at it all just shuffling through there the only hold up in my operation currently is those drills down below running out of dirt right away. I've got to find a way to make these run longer. Kind of wondering if the latest patch to this game had an effect on my drill strategy. Because I know before these were kind of run forever, more or less. Now they don't seem to be running at all. They go through the dirt very quickly. This one is lighting up already, so that's promising. But if the light goes off after it spits out its one chunk of dirt, I might need to rethink this. It's either that or I'm going to have to use the other types of drills or something. Yep, the light went off. Until I can figure out what to do with my drill problem, I'm just going to manually kind of clean up the area because there's tons of dirt I can still feed into this thing and still make a giant pile of gold just with that. What would be really cool is if there was a way to shovel dirt under the drills. That's kind of where my mind is at right now. I'm wondering if that's actually possible. I mean, I've got to do something while I'm trying to find my shovel. Didn't realize I had a little jam right here under the conveyor belt. Not sure how this happened, but we'll go ahead and clean that out. There is something about a clean pile of gold that just looks good. 
I should probably plug that. I think I want to try raising a few of these drills up to see if I can get a little bit more dirt underneath them to see if they run for longer. I'm going to put these first three up a little bit higher like this. I'll have more dirt hopefully to chew through and I should be able to replace it with this shovel without having to remove them. If these work, this will be so much better. But whether or not they work remains to be seen right about now. Just got to turn them on. Drill number one, drill number two, drill number three. Interesting. They're all starting at least. They haven't given me any dirt yet. I've been sitting here for a minute. There's the first chunk. That one might need more grinding. And the lights are turning back on, so I think they're okay. That would be a good time for a little experiment, since I can see the actual drill head down below. Maybe I can keep feeding them. I'll just endlessly go if I go like this. If this would work, this would actually be pretty cool. And it looks like that more or less works. I can seem to shovel the dirt directly into the drill and they keep working. What just happened? I'm landing where the other dirt is, but yeah, we had a bit of a jam up and I didn't catch it in time. I'm going to raise a few more of the drills up like that, but I'm also going to add this grinder down there because the more grinding we can do, the better things work. That way we don't get clumps of this big or bigger moving on up. All of the drills are in place one step higher. I just need to add another row of boxes because they're spitting dirt over top, plus add a few more grinders. So I'm going back to the store again. I think another five grinders should leave no bit of dirt any bigger than a small speck. Now this entire conveyor row is grinders. I need to keep those things very, very small. All right, I think it's time to fire this mess up and see exactly how it's going to work. This first drill is not going to be operational because it doesn't have enough time to grind before it hits here. So far, so good. Aside from one little breakdown, I'm definitely going to need to buy more repair kits at this rate because these things are going to be going pretty much around the clock. But think about how much gold these are going to be spitting out. I can already hear my thing going to work on all the gold. And we already have a jam up, but I'm pretty sure that rock was already in the works. I hope none that bigger is still getting up here somehow. That's a lot of gold going through all at once. Oh, they're even bouncing off into that one. Well, whatever. As long as I can make it into Gold Mountain, that's all that matters. Ah, look at it all coming now. The game is starting to skip a little bit here and there. And I think I understand why. But yeah, this is getting fun now. And so far, the gold is coming up pretty small. Kind of wish I had more room up here for more grinders, but I think they're still going to do the job anyway. The gold's coming up that big, it'll be tiny by the time it goes through there. That might actually start to jam up the uh, feeders down there, the sorters, but we'll see soon. Things are already running a little bit low on dirt, but that's okay because I think I have a pretty easy solution. If I just put some dirt right here at the drill head, it fires right back up again. And that's also why I left these gaps in the boxes where I did. That way I could get nice and low and get the dirt right in there on the drill where it needs it. Yeah, this is going to work out just fine. As long as there's no jam ups, we're going to be finding absurd amounts of gold with this. Speaking of jam ups, let's check the top. Nope, it's all business as usual up here and that gold pile is getting big. We do have a jam up in the iron down there maybe. It's going to be a little bit hard to fix this particular jam up considering the amount of iron it's coming in. Like... It's just a steady stream of everything falling down right now. The game's starting to do that running really slow thing, and I understand why, but that is going to get annoying quick. But that's simply because it's raining gold, and it's raining a lot of it. The main thing I'm going to need at this point to keep working are the repair kits. Because this. We have four broken drills and three broken filters. Shouldn't be more than a few short days at this rate, and we're going to have a big mountain of gold to play with. And since this operation basically runs itself now, I've got to go buy some repair kits. Like a lot of them. This is a good feeling. I get back from the shop with all my repair kits and things look like they're still running pretty well though we got a lot of gold up there but no jam ups things are still running themselves i guess the gold is all just getting jammed up here so let's fix this so the problem is somewhere right about there um okay i guess i'm just gonna start manually distributing this until it starts to fall out properly again whoops didn't mean to remove that somehow we have a gold jam up here of all places there's not supposed to be any gold here Listen to all that gold falling. I don't know if I caught it, but that was a steady rain of gold. Probably because there still seems to be a little bit of a jam up right about here. I'm sure this will mostly sort itself out at the bottom, but yeah, we might have just done something stupid. I mean, there's a lot of gold going over the top. That's all that really matters. Fun to watch it fly from here too. I was sure after last time that I couldn't make any more mess of my ground, but look at it now. There's piles of stuff everywhere. The next big improvement I would need to make is going to be for the sorters over here. They're working pretty good. I've got a few ideas how I could make them better, but yeah, they need some work. Well, these pots are probably already pretty full of stuff, so I'm going to set these gently over here and just let this stuff fall into holes now. It's not like this place is super organized anyway. I'll know there's power crystals here, gems in this hole, and iron somewhere over here. Just look at the amount of gold coming through now. Like, it's just constantly raining like that. Makes you want to step it up even further. I can already see my mountain over there getting pretty big because I can see it from here. It's getting to that point again right now where it's hard to move. Like even turning is very slow and if I try and walk, I don't until I walk 10 steps. It's kind of fun to sitting here watching the gold fall down. While we're waiting for this to get a little bit bigger, let's see how much of this iron we actually had land in this pot. 
It's been stacking up for a while. I don't know how much I actually got in there, but we'll find out. And we'll maybe throw some more into a pot again, because I want an extra bar. Plus, we're getting a little bit jammed up up here anyways. And I've never tried this before, but... Where's... Oh, you can cut into multiple pieces. Interesting. I thought it wasn't working. All right, well, I guess we're going to have an extra iron bar after all that. Mm, we guess we got to heat these up first, though, huh? It really is just something so satisfying about me being able to just do whatever this is and watching the gold mine itself. All right, these should create one big sword. I'm not sure the value on this being that it's iron, but there's probably a lot of iron in there. I think I finally broke the game. I went to unstuck my truck and I'm here. Not sure where here is or what I can do at this point. I'm going to try and load back in. Oh, okay, I'm in the ocean. That's why the game crashed. Not sure what that means for my truck. I'm at my old ground also. I might have just lost my sword because I have no idea where my vehicle went. The game crashed, I wound up in the ocean somewhere near here. And that makes me feel really good because that means we're breaking stuff. Since we're walking by, we can check sword prices. It looks like they're up 52. All right, would be a good day to actually have a sword. Well, I guess we need a new sword and a new truck. No idea where it went. And over here, things are getting so jammed up. I'm basically nope. just going to remove... Not that. I was trying just to remove the window. That way stuff wouldn't get quite so jammed up anymore. I've got to say though, the gold does look a lot better when you ring it with boxes like I used to because it stacks up more evenly and taller. It's so spread out now that it kind of makes it feel like it's less than it is. The mountain's getting so big we can see it in the dark. Look at the rate the gold just funnels off the top. The game is running so slow now, no matter what I do, that it's almost unplayable. So I guess I can say I accomplished something today. Look at all that gold. Yeah, it would have made more sense to put this all just into one pot as we went. But as you see, that's kind of hard to do. Plus, I dislike this visual. Don't know if I'm ever going to be able to sell this because it's going to be so much work to organize it. 